How's it going guys? Chris back here again with some more in store bro. Today we are looking at Troyan Gusty Explorer. Uh, this might not have been a great hand to keep, but uh, mistakes were made, mistakes were made. Captain. So you can add two mana, spend it to cast spells with mana value five or greater, or spell with X in their mana cost. I want to play the sheep. Uh, Mixed Fleece Ram is a cool card. I do like him a lot. I want to play Will. Yeah, I don't know. I was getting an itch to play a green commander. And there really weren't that many cool green commanders. In Eldering. Like, we covered... We covered the green-white enchantment one. And like that's that's pretty much the line. I think I'm going to yeah, we'll just play our commander. I was gonna hold up a repudiate, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. Might be wrong. Point was hovering our commander, which is. Generally something is more scary in black, but it can also be scary in white too, right? Because they have they have a couple of sagas that ETB exile a creature. And then they have uh, a couple of uh, removal spells that are just hard exiles or hard destroys. Or destroys with conditions, right? So... Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna play Defiler of Dreams. Next turn we replicate the Defiler. Uh, it doesn't do much though. Which is unfortunate. We can play Tamiyo and draw a card. So if I play a land, we'll have three mana for a repudiate, and then we'll have four with our commander, which is not exciting. I don't know. This guy, I put in an additional because. An additional ramp package because he is uh like high CMC or high high MV these days. Value commander. Um Okay, so we can conf Revoke, I guess, to who draw two cards. We can do that at instant speed, though. I haven't heard much about Will. Like, I've heard that Rona can be broken when built correctly, but I haven't seen Will do much. Or I haven't at least heard about him doing much. Although he's doing something here, right? Like,. Gain two life, get a two mana discount on all your spells. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. uh, X equals two. Before combat, we're very good at games. Okay, we got a Radagast the Brown. We're not running into many blue permanents, which is a bit of a shame. Good old Ratty B. Doesn't even trigger Kiora. Very sad. Huh. He is good for... Uh... Yeah, I guess we just played blue permanents this turn.
going to draw some cards. I, uh, I'm going to choose up the beanstalk here. Oop, wrong one. There we go. Might have picked up that. Ouch. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the rock, honestly. The rock. We go with the rock because next turn we can we can do everything we want to do, which is a lot. Next turn we can probably just straight up cast omniscience. We only need eight mana and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and we, I don't even think we need to take the the defiler of dream discount. Or I guess conversion with them, right? Because it's not really a discount. You pay two life for the mana. So it it technically takes the mana off. But it also just uh, puts the mana elsewhere. The problem is we can't Storm of Saruman. Well, I don't, I don't need them. I don't need them untapped anyways. I think we're going to go crazy next turn. So, you know. Yeah, Tamiyo is not essential. Very neat opponent. Why can I not cast you? Oh, because you tapped out. Uh, Defiler? Defiler? Ouch. Ouch. Uh, I'm just going to cast this boy. So they don't have to lose any life and I get to copy it. Ouch. I mean, next turn, if we live, we probably win, but I don't know if we're going to have the allowance to live. Like, we start off our turn with, uh, nations, and then we go into, like, ints. Three. I need to draw land now if I want to want to do the thing. Oh, you can't turn a token face down. That is neat. So is this as long as... Rude. Opponent. Uh, seven. Yeah, we can't take 11. Our boy's gotta die. We're still getting double discount for some reason. I think that's a bug. Uh... 
we only can take one discount. And we probably still die. Opponent? Am I going to time out here? What's going on? Yeah, no, that's my clock. Um, why are we not casting the spell? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it because you're bugged for some reason? Hmm. Do not know. I should be able to use him, but he is face down for some reason. Man, that feels broken, but sure. Why don't we do this instead? And uh, I guess we put you, you, and you. Put any number, actually. Okay. We did good. Okay, we get to survive. Did not think this would happen. We can't use the one ring. But uh, we get to survive a turn, which is nice. Uh, I really thought we were just dead. But, uh, Battery Bear actually saved our life. The next time we play Gulta Revival, can I please just Play my omniscience. I would like to play my omniscience. I don't even know if it's enough at this point. Like we need, we need so many things to uh, actually make this happen. The two flyers are gonna kill us. Um, like the ground army, we can feasibly block, uh, but. There's no certainty here. So we should have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three plus five equals eight, nine, ten. We should have ten mana. We have the end of the battlefield effect, so unless they can just kill us that way, we shouldn't have any issues. We will get our turn to go off, but if it actually does anything or not, I don't know. Interesting. Finale of Revelation is a good card. I hope they tap out, because if they don't, and we uh, tap out for an Omniscience, and lose the Omniscience, we're just sad. Sure. It's uh, not bugged.
you know, wrath. That would be absolutely insane. I guess they're wondering if I can cast enough green spells to uh, just alpha strike them, and uh, it's not out of the question. Like, if I can cast uh, Omniscience, I'll be able to cast 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 green spells. Like, that's 7 counters on everything. Well, no, it's not, because it has to be a permanent. Uh, 1, 2, 2 out of my 7 are... Eight. I need to draw land now. Then one, two, three, four, nine. Oh, we had it. Hey, opponent. Have you seen Omniscience before? It's a cool card. Uh, so we'll cast a one ring. To ensure we have another turn. Filer. Oh, bro, one. Galta. I'm just going to put everything into play. Uh, Druid's Revival for Int March. Uh, March of the Ents. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Uh, we want some blue sources. Sad. Sad. I mean, we get to see most of the deck. Oh, I'll take a goose. And land. And, uh, blue, uh, kick, cancel, cannot kick. Well, we can. And, uh, Now we can kick. Pass the turn. Discard five cards. We'll discard this. Uh, not Nyx, because that is some juicy mana at the moment. Just our five random lands. I guess we could have kept the uh, the new creature line because that could have been a way to close out the game, but probably gave us back the one ring.
Okay, minus four. Another Fountain of Revival off of the Seraph Paragon. Very exciting stuff. Like, we somehow, uh, the One Ring has somehow uh, pivoted our game from a certain loss to a near total victory, I think. Uh, goose for zero. Nope, I do not want to lose two life. Uh, alternate world realm breaker. Activate Realm Breaker. Get some Praetors. No one Praetor. That's good enough. Yeah, I think I had him. I just didn't want to uh, attack him until I had all of the counters I could possibly get. That's a 22 minute game. Wow. Well, we had one game with our, uh, our, uh, where are you? Uh, battery bearer. Torvorn Gusty Explorer, our um, blue green nonsense commander. And it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. I tried to build around mechanics where uh, the mana value would be greater than five, but there would be a way to cast a card, even if you didn't have five mana. Uh, and I think it worked out overall. We didn't get to see many of the mechanics like that, because we kind of just... We accidentally one willing looped ourselves into salvation. So, if you guys enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.